everyone welcome back so today I'm going to be showing you guys how I go from looking like a wet dog to having complete volume and curly hair yes this is my wash and go so I'm going to show you guys what products I use after I've washed my hair and how you know I get my curls popping and all that happiness so just stay tuned and I will show you guys all of it Like I said, today I'm doing my wash and go look. Um, little disclaimer, so my hair is already washed. I have no product in it. Uh, when I got out of the shower, I had already brushed it. So when I'm in the shower, I brush my hair with the conditioner in it. So when I get out, it's not so like tangly because I can break a comb. Let me tell you, I can... So I brush it when I'm in the shower while I have the conditioner and everything in it. And then I hit it, um, when I'm rinsing my hair out, I hit it with some cold water. Um, so yeah, and then I get out and I get, I have like a t-shirt, it's a cotton one, or if you have a full on cotton towel, then that's good too. But I get my t-shirt, I wrap it up and it's like super soft right now. It looks gross, but soft and then I let it, it I wasn't really trying to let it dry but I started watching YouTube videos and I started playing with makeup and lo and behold it started to dry I feel like curly hair like honestly it it's the fastest slowing drying process ever like it starts drying really fast but it takes forever to get fully dry does that make sense I think it does so yeah, um, also another tip that I started doing today, I flip sides. So usually my hair goes this way, I'm starting it going this way every couple months to a year. Yeah, it's a, it's a process. I flip. Um, why do I flip it? Because I feel like it first keeps, oop, keeps me from cutting my hair because I cut my hair if I get bored with it. So it's like, hmm, let me flip it side real quick. So I do that and it gives me more volume. Like I find myself having a lot more volume. So yeah. So I don't know where my hair tie is. Usually I would divide into three sections, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to run it through with my fingers. As you can see, my hair is really drying. So um, I got my <laughs> spray bottle that's almost out of water. Um, so I'm going to spritz it back down just so it's really like, not soaked, but you know, not drying. Um, so I'm using three products. It is my wash and go. So I am using the curl, curls, blue, blue, ba blueberry bliss, um, but if I wasn't, if this was like to bed, I would not, I would not be using this because I don't need control jelly to go to bed. Um, I'm also using the Curl Enhancing Smoothie. I have been using this since 2013 and I love it. I just like the way it smells. Mm, it smells so good. And I'm trying out a new product. It is the Quenching Quenching. Coconut Curls Frizz Defined Moisture Mousse. I am not a big mousse user. I find that mousse dries my hair out more than what it helps. But you know what? I was like, coconut. I love coconut, like literally. Coconut, it's freaking amazing. It smells good, it's good in your hair, it's good on your body, it tastes good, it's fucking amazing. So I am going to try it. Um. I didn't read anything about alcohol in it, I'm telling you. That's why I don't use um, mousse. But you know what? I'm not trying new things. But usually I would use this, this, and maybe some oil, something like that. But we're going to do something a little different. So I'm going to just take this. Um, I am going to let it air dry. I don't have any plans, so I don't need a quick dry. But um, you can always, you know, use the, what is it, a, diff, a diffuser, not a diffuser, I can't even think of the word right now, whatever, 
it'll come to me probably when I stop recording because I talked about it already. But yeah, you can use that, a blow dryer, any of that, you know, whatever you want to do. I put a lot of product in my hair um, because I used to not put a lot of product. I used to be like, oh, I'm going to weigh my curls down. My hair is going to be disgusting. Da -da 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 -da. Because I lived with um, people with Caucasian hair, we'll put it that way. And that's how they were. Um, their hair, if you put a lot of product in it, not saying my hair is, I mean, I'm half white, so of course I have Caucasian. But um, their hair, when you put a lot of stuff in it, it weighs it down and gets oily. So I just kind of followed suit and was like, well, my hair is going to do the same thing. It doesn't. It soaks it up. It loves it. And yeah, so I, especially with the curl smoothie, I just love it. You guys have no idea. This stuff is thebomb.com. I feel like everybody used it and you should, it's just so good. But just like this, I, I go on and off with it. So sometimes I use it a whole lot. Other times I'll just stop using it. You never, you never know. I don't know. It's like that was all my products. Like, you guys have no idea. But, whatever. That's why I have so many of them. And I won't stop buying them. But yeah, so I put that through. It's good. Um, so, I was waiting to do this video because I... Oh, now I'm going in with the curl jelly. Um, I was waiting to do this video for a wash day. My wash days, I literally only wash my hair twice a week. Now, that doesn't mean I only shower twice a week or anything like that. But I only get out, like, my shampoo, which is a Cantu shampoo. It's really good. Um, I can't think of the name right now, but I'll get back to that. Um, I only do it twice a week and sometimes maybe only once a week. Um, shampooing really dries my hair out. When I was younger, I used to wash my hair every day. And, like I said... I lived with people who did this so I was like let me follow suit even though obviously my hair is so much different from theirs yeah look at I'm shedding I'm not going long I'm just shedding it happens anyway so I used to wash my hair every day every day can you imagine that every day and it it hated me my hair hated me so I started to actually do research and seeing what was like what my hair looks like right now. It's crazy. Um, seeing what was good for my hair and all of that. And I learned that like I even went through a phase where I would shampoo it twice because I had read in a magazine that um, you shampoo it once to get it clean and you shampoo it the second time to get the smell in. So that should tell you how my curls were. Um, I'm going in with this now. True to its name, it's a mousse. It doesn't, I don't know if it, if I'm smelling this or not. It smells okay though. I don't know, it doesn't, it's, it doesn't smell like coconut as much as I was hoping. Um, so yeah, we're gonna try it out. I'm gonna do the same thing as I was doing and just put it through my hair. But yeah, so now I cut my shampooing back. My hair has gotten a lot. My curls have gone through a transformation, literally. Especially, I did a big cut in 2012, maybe, where I literally, like, cut off all my hair. That's a whole other story, though. So, since then, I have been learning, very learning, 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 learning. It's a learning process. But, yeah. So, this is it. You see how I already just naturally wanted to flip it that way? No. Flipping it the other way. I'm going to let it air dry. Um, usually, when I let it air dry, I just push it back and just let it do its thing um it's gonna take some time so i'm gonna go let it air dry and then i will be back and i will talk about this because i'm interesting to see this is i find mousse makes my hair look sticky i don't know we'll see though we're gonna see so i'm gonna i'm gonna let it dry before i have any more shed and i will be back all right, and it is dry. So, my verdict on this. Like I said, when I was using this, it's mousse. And I knew better than to use mousse because it doesn't do that good with my curls, but I still used it. 
and now my curls just like I said it has like this weird like almost I just I don't like mousse I thought because it said coconut it would be better but I lied to myself but yeah so from here you have some different methods whether you want to pick it out this like almost like rats my hair I don't know how to explain it so I don't really use these I use this I love it it works great or you of course you can just use your fingers and I literally just go through and puff it up and like I said I switch sides for my bangs I do it every couple months to a year um, this is really the side I like it on because whenever I do my makeup this side comes out better than this side so I had a hard time having this side covered for so long but I'm happy that it's back to its normal side and all that and of course because it was wash day I had to get my hair back to how I like it retrain it to how I want it to sit how I want it to curl all of those fun things but it'll get there so I'm not even worried about it but yeah so this is there um, my curls are pretty good I would definitely go out like this. I don't have a problem with how my hair came out. It's just this thing. I don't know what type of curls this is for. I don't know if you need more like dense curls or maybe not even curls, but little like waves. I don't know. I don't know. I just know that my hair and I cannot.